Apocalypse. X-Men Apocalypse is another big budget Hollywood blockbuster with big names and big VFX. Some critics actually said it overused VFX, which from our point of view isn't really a bad thing. MPC Digital Domain, Cinesite, Hydrolux and Rising Sun Pictures were the VFX houses involved in this movie and they provided a total of around 1,700 shots. MPCs spread their workload between teams in Bangalore, London and Montreal. Their main jobs were the realisation of multiple mutant powers including Storm's weather control, Mystique's body blades, Archangel's wings, Psylocke's psionic sword and whip, Jean's phoenix, Nightcrawler's bamf, and Cyclops and Magneto's city destruction powers in addition to the creation of the Cerebral Room and the final battle sequence. This sequence involved creating and destroying a 3D digital replica of the city of Cairo. Modelers used Maya and ZBrush to recreate nearly 60 buildings based on reference photography. A detailed 3D map of the city was made, consisting of over 150,000 assets and the city's outskirts were digital map paintings. To create the complex destruction sequences, MPC used Maya, Houdini and their own in-house destruction tool called Kali. This tool is based on DMM or Digital Molecular Matter, which is a psychic engine by Pixelux. DMM Kali is a simulation system that can model the material properties of an object, allowing it to break in a certain way depending on the quantity and direction of the stress placed on it. Rising Sun's task included the rebuilding at the end of the film and some small sequences such as the tree destroying scenes. Their biggest job was Quicksilver's rescue scene. The idea of this scene was to film as much in camera as possible. This meant rigs, people hanging from wires and high-speed phantom cameras shooting 3,000 frames per second on 35 mile per hour dollies. Thanks to all this, only eight full digital doubles had to be created. One was the dog, Tauten, who was scanned and matched to the original photography and then fully rigged and animated. Four kids that Quicksilver throws out the window were full digi doubles, but with very simple rigging. The two kids that Quicksilver carries out whilst riding a coffee table required more detail and more complex rigging. And Quicksilver himself was a full CG digi double with fully detailed hair, skin, and clothing, all matched to the original plate photography. This digi-double was mainly used in the scenes where Quicksilver zips out of frame and in the backflip shot. The rest are a combination of the actor and his stunt double, and some shots actually transition between the three. Digital Domain's main task was the opening sequence of the film, where the Egyptians attempt to kill and bury Apocalypse under a pyramid. 
Um, the original plate photography for the starting parade scene was actually only a few meters of the procession with the barge Apocalypse is sitting on and around 25 extras. Digital Domain had to create nearly 300,000 digital extras which they animated using their own in-house crowd software. Starting from only plate photography of the Egyptians knocking out the posts that supported the block, they created the entire city including the initial establishing bird's eye shots of the pyramid and the city. A lot of work went into the way the sun's energy was transferred from the pyramid's capstone down through the pyramid and into the bodies. After experimenting with non-Newtonian fluids and making a version trying out different methods, they decided to treat it like liquid gold through circuits, so the sun's power would flow slowly through the paths of the circuit board. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video, don't forget the links to the music used in this video are in the video description and be sure to let us know as always in the comments which movie VFX you'd like to see behind next.